right, so like I said, we're going on a ride this weekend, so I'm just going through my bikes, trying to fix issues, because they all seem to have something wrong with them. Uh, this one here, first thing I'm seeing, this, this bike's called Mean Green, by the way, but uh, first thing I'm seeing is we got a flat, so hopefully, I don't know, something's up with that. And then last time we tried to ride this thing, the kill switch wouldn't work. Yeah, see this has a max max load 195 pounds at 5 psi but i just want to see if this thing has a leak and i can hear all right well i don't see anything wrong with this so i'm going to put a little extra air in it and um, I'll lower the pressure down when I when we get out there. And I'm just gonna put some put some extra in there. Okay, so 15 psi max. 15 psi max to seat beads. Okay, so but you're supposed to run it around at about five. So, I think the back is good. Yeah, back's good. So let's see if we can figure out why this thing won't start or wouldn't shut off. So we're gonna get it started first. So this guy likes to take off sometimes. Yes, so, so we're gonna just go ahead and put the tire on, get the MR2's tire there. Now the gas is off, so let's turn the gas on. See? something wrong with our kill switch so the last time I went to shut this thing off it just didn't do anything you, know, you hit the button and it would just keep running so I had to pull I turned the gas off and then I pulled the spark plug wire let's plug this back in get it going again and see if it see if it works it didn't work last time so yeah that switch is busted I was trying to put a ground to it to see if I could See if I could short it out. Yeah, something's up with the switch because it's not, that's not working. All right, so let's take this thing off, see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. So I got my ohm meter out and I'm poking around trying to see, you know, where it has continuity. Um, and it seems like the black wire is fine all the way through. And then um, even on the switch, the switch seemed like it had continuity when, when it was turned on. And you could see in the voltmeter that uh that it was working so then i'm like okay well the green wire has a break in it somewhere and i pulled on it to get it out and there it is right there that's only half of it so there it is that's the problem all right so we're back at it let's see if we can see what's going on here so we want to see continuity in the wire Oh, I left this on. Okay. So now from there to there, see zero ohms. Flip the switch. I got almost 20 for a second there. So I think the switch itself is good. The, uh, um, we just got this wire, got, uh, broken somewhere. So, I'm just going to solder it back together and put it back on. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to try one of these uh, 
cool um, buck connectors. They have a built-in heat shrink and um, solder. So I've never used them before. The wire stripped. Probably gonna be one of the small, small ones. Or the red. I think this one will do. So it has this little bit of solder in here. When you heat it up, it melts and makes the connection. So it turns out these butt connectors are actually pretty cool. Um, they just shrink right down over it, and you kind of give that center part a pretty good amount of heat to melt that solder, but it worked While really that well. Cools, let's go ahead and test. So we're connected to our red probe, zero ohms. Let's switch off, 25 ohms, back to zero. One ohm, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, I think the switch is working fine now. Here's our joint, it's cool now, it's strong. Yeah, it seems pretty good. It's, it doesn't, it's not very big. I like it, it's pretty good. I think I could have heated up this side a little bit more. I think that needs to be like melted because it looks like this side melted. Not sure if it's supposed to melt or not. Yeah, that kind of that melted it, you know, kind of smoothed it out. So I ended up having to splice that little end back on there. So I used one of those same little connectors on there and it worked pretty good. Okay, so I got the switch hooked back up. I uh, got that cloth wire covering on there. It's not bad. I kind of like it. I mean, it's cloth though, so it's probably going to get really dirty. But we're going to try it. Um, I haven't tested it yet. I believe that's on. Let's see. All right, it's fixed. Gotta love it. Ready to ride. All right, that's it. I hope some of you find this helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.